Whether it is a gas, liquid, or solid, everything in the cosmos is in motion. Circular motion, vibration, and movement characterize everything. Since everything has a different vibrational frequency, everything is identical. The number of periodic oscillations, vibrations, or waves per unit of time is referred to as frequency. Welcome everyone, in today's video, we're going to tell you real law of vibration and how to use the law of vibration to your advantage. But before we proceed further details, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Now get ready and make sure to stay tuned till the end as we dive right into the video. Why they hide this from you? The real law of vibration, urgent. Dr. Robert Gilbert, since everything in the universe has a different vibratory pattern, nothing is genuinely identical to anything else. The variations in these vibratory motions are the main factors that account for the distinctions between matter and energy, like trees, desks, flowers, and animals. Phenomena like light, heat, magnetism, electricity, and sound are examples of vibratory motion. We don't hear sounds when things vibrate very slowly. Since physical objects vibrate slowly compared to other types, we are unable to hear any sounds coming from them. We detect lower-pitched noises as vibration is increased. As we play the ascending piano keys, more vibration increases enable us to perceive higher-pitched notes. We might not be able to hear the music if vibrations reach a higher frequency, since it may have moved beyond our range of frequency perception. This also applies to how we perceive color. Only the hues found in the rainbow, which is the spectrum of light, are visible to us. When we think about color, we immediately picture a dark red. Brighter red is first followed by orange, then yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet as vibrations rise. Similar to how we cannot see inferred with our unaided eyes, violet vibrates upward into ultraviolet, where we lose the ability to see the color. The same vibrational laws that govern the physical world also govern us as well as our thoughts, feelings, wants, and willpower. The Ascended Masters claim that every one of us has a distinct voice, and that voice perfectly expresses who we are. We would find our true, ideal selves if we could sit motionless for long enough to connect with this sound. The interruptions in our lives, the ways we live, television, radio, other people, and noises in general all work to prevent us from hearing and becoming the flawless sound that is within us. Numerous vibrational frequencies compete with and disturb our mental and emotional states, preventing us from connecting with the perfection that is latent inside. Vibrations are emitted into the universe by our thoughts, feelings, and wills. Every mental state or thought has a matching vibrational frequency and mode. The effects remain longer the higher the vibration. The short-term effects are more effective the lower the vibration. The fifth dimension one of the higher dimensions, considers the law of vibration to be what is. Nothing is given meaning in these dimensions, only frequencies are. The level at which thoughts, emotions, behaviors, and actions exist is understood. An impartial analysis of an angry individual just determines that they are angry. No value is attributed to the conduct. A plan may be devised to try and raise the vibrational frequency to a higher level in an effort to try and comprehend the behavior and transform the anger into something less hurtful. The majority of themes are reflected as good slash bad, black slash white, or yes slash no in the third dimension, the plane of dichotomies in which we reside. Most of us have a distinctive style of optimism or pessimism, since this method of functioning is linked to our identities. Pessimism has a lower frequency, while optimism has a higher frequency. Optimists frequently anticipate more from the world. This has been shared with others and is probably realized. Pessimists anticipate the worst. They not only foresee disaster, but actively contribute to it. Our fundamental style matters because whatever we decide to do emits a vibration into the collective awareness and influences whether Earth's vibrations are raised or lowered. When we express negativity, we also receive the same amount of negativity back. Similar to this, we absorb an equal quantity of positive vibrations when we express ourselves positively. Not only can vibrations have an impact on us, but also on those around us. Others may pick up on positive or negative vibes and produce something similar. The same thought forms are sparked and sent back by others when we send forth ideas of jealousy, criticism, wrath, 
or envy. We all have the ability to make decisions. In order to build harmony and consistency with the God inside of us, we can align our bodies and our behaviors. We must take care of our brains by choosing positive thoughts, just as we must take care of our bodies by choosing healthy options and behaviors, such as eating, exercise, and abstinence from drugs and alcohol. Our spiritual development journey is facilitated by thinking uplifting thoughts. Other thoughts stop us in our tracks or make us regress. We make incremental progress toward spiritual objectives as we learn to select the good. It is frequently difficult to fully comprehend how our actions affect other people. We can either be a constructive force that works to improve our company or community, or a destructive one that destroys what is being developed. Personal or group cynicism is one of the most challenging forms of negativity to overcome. Many people who have had numerous setbacks or failures start to think that nothing will work. After that, the collective consciousness generates a vibratory frequency that attracts to these people everything else that also resonates at that frequency. The folks must learn to open their minds and hearts and think from a place connected to a higher consciousness in order to find solutions to their difficulties because they can only be found on the higher planes of existence. Because higher frequencies include more knowledge and wisdom, this most common activity always provides the solution we are looking for through the law of vibration. A few people make the justification that they must be honest in order to justify their negativity. However, the vibrational frequency released when people are encouraged to act negatively speaks for themselves. We must work to be sincere and helpful while remaining upbeat. Keeping our vibes as high and as positive as we can is our aim. This indicates that we must guard against allowing the unfavorable opinions of others to affect our emotions or mental state. Learning to avoid getting too engaged in other people's problems is one method to do this. We must keep ourselves from absorbing the lower vibrations that people are emitting in order to effectively listen, develop goals for solving issues, and plan for positive outcomes. Knowing the law of vibration makes it easier for us to connect with our emotions at every minute of the day. We need to have the ability to gauge how we are feeling and make decisions about actions and attitudes that only serve to advance us because every thought, sensation, word, and conduct has its own frequency. Our existence is due to evolution. The law of vibration gives us the wisdom necessary to transcend all that is against the divine will and paves the road for us to ascend to higher echelons of existence. How to use the law of vibration to your advantage? 1. For manifestation, we must first match the frequency of the item we want in order to materialize it. You will only draw to yourself energy that aligns with your own, according to Dr. Robert Gilbert. Only vibrations that are compatible with your vibration will you attract. Imagine that despite your desire to generate greater wealth, you are preoccupied with your need for more money. The notion, I need more money, actually has a vibration of lack and could result in a self-fulfilling prophecy. So keep in mind that your thoughts also have vibrational energy. By controlling our own thoughts, we have the capacity to command the frequency of our being. 2. To navigate circumstances. Dr. Robert Gilbert claims that by using this universal law, you can always determine how you feel in a situation or scenario. It's easier to sense when you are in the presence of high vibes once you discern what feels high vibrational to you, like attitudes, places, and people that feel connecting, healthy, and exciting. 3. To control emotions. Of course, emotions also have vibrational frequencies, and using this law to your advantage will help you manage them. According to Dr. Robert Gilbert, emotions can range from extremely low frequency to very high frequency. Emotions are powerful guides to shift us into a higher, more balanced state of being, he adds. There are no negative emotions, she says. Everything is energy that wants to move ahead. Energy that wants to move through and be released is what causes us to feel anxious or stressed. In order to let go of these emotions and maintain a higher frequency, the law of vibration enables us to recognize when we are experiencing dense, heavy emotions. The video for today is over now. I appreciate you sticking around to the finish. If you find these suggestions helpful, please let us know in the comments area below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.